let's talk about cerebral palsy to start this. Um, because most of us are ignorant hip hoppers that don't know anything, um, just describe what 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 the ailment is and and to some degree how it affects you. So what it is is it's a it's a it's a nervous system ailment. So um, it it affects your you know some of your muscle movements and your response time. Um, you know, in some in some people it affects neurological um, mm. situations. Uh, so for me personally, like I've actually am very fortunate to have a, a lesser severe case of it because um, for the most part. Um, I've been able to live a normal life, you know what I mean? Um, you know, when I was a kid, I played sports, you know, I did normal kid things. I did normal teenager things. You know, there's people that have, you know, severe cases that, you know, they, they're wheelchair bound, um, you know, permanently, they can't really move. Some people can't talk. Um, actually, uh, when I was younger, uh, I, um, I remember them, you know, doctors just wanting me to be wheelchair bound. And my mom was like, no, you know, it's not, it's not happening. Um, I actually didn't learn to walk until I was four years old. Um, well, because, you know, credit to my mom in that instance is she, you know, she just didn't want that particular life for me. So she kind of took it in her own hands. Cause I think at that time, you know, this is the early eighties at this point. <laughs> it was a dark you time know, <laughs> in general. They, they, yeah. they didn't know uh, a lot about it. And plus, I think with us being, you know, on the poorer side, we just didn't have access to high level care. Um, Cause I just, you know, I don't know this for sure, but I'd assume that we were probably dealing with like, you know, some, some public, uh, you know, clinical people that just didn't mm. have all the answers and they were just, you know, keen on just stuffing me in a box and being like, well, this is what we do with everybody else that has this mm. disability. So we'll just go that route. So, so, you know, that's, uh, th that's, um, that's how that impacted me. And, you know, for a long time, and again, for better, or for worse, uh, my mom, didn't really um, allow me to view myself as disabled. Um, mm -hmm. So for a long time, I didn't even really consider that. I think when it really started to like make a difference was as I got a little older, like, you know, junior high school, high school. Um, that's when it was like, you know, you, you really start to feel different because um, you know, the, Kids will pick on you because they don't know, you know, kids just, they just see a different, a different person, but they don't understand why that person's different. And, you know, when you're, you know, eight, 11, you know, even 15, 16, you're not, you don't have the agency or the wherewithal to ask a question, um, you know, maybe why this person is different and what's going on with them. So there was a lot of bullying going on and, you know, again, for better or for worse, I learned to defend myself pretty quickly. <laughs> and. uh uh, you know, just set me up to, you know, just to take different paths. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to talk about it for a long time, you know, in my music, but I just didn't know how, Be because I didn't want to come off like I was like being preachy or, you know, trying to play it like a sympathy card. But then as mm -hmm. I was, uh, as I got older and, you know, started getting more active in you know, back into the music after my hiatus, I just, you know, something clicked, man. I just, I felt like it was time to talk about it. And I finally found the words and I, I kind of felt like, you know, representation is a big thing these days. So yes. I kind of felt like, you know, if I, if I could reach somebody that maybe dealt with similar things that didn't have the ability to put it down in the words like I can, and that makes them feel seen and, and heard and, you know, lets them know that they're not by themselves, then I'm with it, you know? So. So this is something that you're, are you diagnosed with this from birth or is this something that develops or is seen over oh, time? This is, like uh, this is, 
Uh, Chronic this disease is something can be. that's diagnosed from birth. Sean from the broken stencil. My end view is in the rear view and did through as a stolen Lorenzo. Focus mental pushes my physical metal. Dreams of biomechanical metal fed through.